In our fifth practical, we are going to see how to do an accuracy assessment to the supervised classified images that we did during our fourth practical. So accuracy assessment is a procedure to compare the real world land use types with the classified image land use types. So in here we are using mainly reference data for the sources. So these reference data include both high resolution images of the ground satellite images as well as we can use the maps also we can use google earth images so likewise according to these reference data in the real ground during our accuracy assessment we are comparing with our classified image then we can check is our classified supports image how accurate comparing to the real ground phenomena. Therefore, accuracy assessments are really important to check the accuracy of the classified image of the user with the real world data. And let's see how to do an accuracy assessment. So first of all, open your Adidas Imagine and then in menu bar, go to the raster menu go to supervised and under the supervised select accuracy assessment and then you will be able to see a window known as accuracy assessment so first of all we need to select our classified image within this window by opening the classified images so I'm clicking on file and go to open and then I'm selecting the first super S classified image Trinco minimum distance image after open that one then you need to go to edit and get create or add random points then you will be able to see a window like this add random points window so in here give the number of points as 100 Then the meaning of the search count is Elda's imagine given these random numbers. So they are counting this much of pixels when they creating these random points. And you can see that there are three different distribution parameters that you can use to add these random points. The first one is random and then the stratified random or the equalized random. So in here you will be able to see the meanings of these things. The search count is keep as default as the 1024. Then the meaning of random is no rules being used to collect the random points. And the meaning of is stratified random is so we need to turn on a checkbox for the number of random points to be stratified to distribution of thematic layer classes. Then equalized random also use for each class to have an equal number of random points so therefore in this case we are just taking only the random then click on ok now here you will be able to see the new 100 points have added to the accuracy assessment window like this then the next thing you need to minimize this step and then go to your subset image in the data set and open that subset image because in this time we are going to use our subset trinco image as the reference image to do this accuracy assessment 
So otherwise, as I mentioned, you can check these with the Google Earth as well. But in here, we are using this subset Trinco image as our reference image. Then the next thing what you need to do is go to view and get select viewer. And after this window comes, you need to click on your viewer anywhere in the viewer like this and then you have selected the viewer then go to view and get show all so now you can see these hundred points added to our viewer or upon our reference image then we need to assign the classes of land use to these each random points so there are a lot of numbers about 100 so it is really hard to check from 1 to 100 so what we can do is we can just select the first 10 points in here like this and go to view then click on show current selection and now you can easily see that the first 10 numbers the next thing we need to do is we need to assign the classes to each these random points to do that first of all let's see what are our classes go to home add another 2d view and in that 2d view open your minimum distance voice classified image so i'm opening trinko it's set one then in the content right click upon your classified image and get display attribute table so in here in the bottom you can see this attribute table and now you can see these classes in there as well like this with the class names and then note down these classes with the row numbers in here so I'm noting down them in here after that you can close the other 2d view and remove this one so I'm going to remove this one from here then again go to the accuracy assessment window and go to view and take show our first 10 values and the next thing what you need to do is now you have the reference points with you like this and check the classes so i'm checking the first class for the first point in here so my first point is here so it is slightly belong to the bear lands so therefore i'm putting the number in front of the reference Land, so number is 11 and I'm checking the next one now you can see that so when you have assigned the reference to these points it will appear in yellow color so let's do to the second point so here I have the second point so it is belong to the forest so I'm checking the forest reference number so it is 13 I am assigning 13 to that and you can see it highlighted with yellow color 
So likewise, you need to assign the, all the reference values according to the these reference numbers for all 100 points in your accuracy assessment table. I have to mention another thing. So what you can do is you can change the band arrangement into true color composite by going to the raster multi spectra and select the bands as three, two and one. So then it will be easier for you to understand these land use types. So try with that also giving reference to these points. After assigning all reference points, we can check is it matching with our class values. To do that, what we can do is we can go to the edit in accuracy assessment and then click on show class values. Then, so in here you will be able to see the comparison between our class values with our references. So that is known as the accuracy of our image so therefore now i'm telling you how to generate a accuracy report to do that you need to go to report and go to the options and make sure that you have ticked on all these three error metrics accuracy totals and couple statistics so these are two methods that you using to classify this accuracy and you will learn these things more during your theory classes and then click on accuracy report so here you can see the accuracy report of your minimum distance super classified image so likewise it gives the accuracy totals and in this case my accuracy total is 73.33 percent so it is a better accuracy so accuracy generally have to be more than 80 to a better classified image and couple statistics also so therefore this is how you need to find out your accuracy and how to conduct accuracy assessment for your supervised classified image so you